Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now in real time, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So to respect your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, nitty gritty, dirty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at market open. All right, gonna go for call here at 57.50. That was bizarre. Yeah, these are pretty big spreads right now. And I was sitting at the best bid. If you looked over here, you would have seen. Whoops. I'll pause. I'll be back in just a second. Looking down here, you would have seen 5750 just sitting there and not getting filled, which it seemed like it should have been filled. But like I said, I, I think the since the market's open, the market's kind of just trying to figure itself out. Um, also, I'm doing options. So if you don't know what I mean when I say options, just let me know in the comment section, put guide or option guide, and I will link you to a free class I put together called the Big Basics of Options. And I'll walk you through all the basic things of how that works. Uh, options, don't let them intimidate you. I know sometimes they have an intimidating reputation and they can be made intimidating, but they don't have to be. And I definitely take more of an, a simple approach to them. So if that's how you like to approach things in a more simple way, then like I said, I, I think you'll get great value out of that guide. So. Um, just let me know on the comment section guide, please, and I will link you to it. So, all right, as of right now, pretty rough start. So I'll pause, but I'll keep an eye on it. I have an order at 55 here. In at 55 for a call. And out for a very quick $50 move. Very good. I will go ahead and pause. All right, going to go for a call here at 53.20. So I'm watching this right here. I want to see that drop down to 53.20 and then that turn from white to green like it just did there. And out for another quick $50. So you can scroll back, but you'll see that order was white for a period and then it changed to green, meaning I was filled. So I'm now up with two trades, $50 each, $100. I will go ahead and pause. Have an order at 45.50 and at 45.50 for a put. And I'm in at 45.54 a put. And out for another $50, not as fast as the other ones, but that's okay, not everyone can be less than 10 seconds. So there we go, another $50, I hit record, didn't I? I did hit record. All right, another 50 bucks. Very good. I will pause. Have an order at 53.50. Nope, not getting filled. I don't like that. Something doesn't feel right there. Yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. All right, it felt. There we go. Let's see if I can get a little bit. Let's see how this candle finishes here. Well, that's what happens if you decide to let the candle finish. Sometimes it's going to leave you away in its dust. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the candle to drop all the way down there. If I was expecting that, I would have, I would have just hopped in right then and there. Well, that just gives the, you know, that shows the give and take. If you wait for confirmation, that's fine. In some situations, that's smart. You wait for confirmation. But in situations like this, waiting for confirmation just completely, you know, caused me to miss out on a potential trade. But other times waiting for confirmation will either save you from a trade or it'll make sure that you, uh, you know, have that much better odds in your favor. But um, yeah, that this is one of those situations where waiting for confirmation was not the smart thing to do. But that is not to say that it's never the smart thing to do, just not in this situation here. All right, I'll pause. Have another 51 here for a put. It was close for a second. So if I want to make another try up there. Nope.
Nope. Do not like how it was not filling me. Feeling like one of those situations where if I got filled, then I was going to quickly be underwater because it was going to blow right through that order. So um, cancel that out. Again, if you want, scroll back and you can watch right down there and you'll see 51 was there. It wasn't getting filled. And it just had that uneasy feeling where if I was going to get filled, like I said, then it was going to, you know, shoot straight down to 50 or something like that. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 52 for a put. Go to 5150 instead. I'm going to change to 5050. And yes, I'm being extra picky here because if I don't get filled, not a big deal. I'm still up. You know, I'll still be green on the day. So not the end of the world. So we'll go for 5050 here. I will pause. Well, it is now about 3.13, so it's lit much later in the day and um, haven't really been around, been doing a variety of things, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, so three basic trades, I'll take it, let the gains add up, and for the amount of time and effort I actually put into it, um, I'm actually very, very pleased with the results. And as I always say, um, this is just one of many streams of income, so trading is totally a side hustle for me, so if I can throw 150 bucks in my pocket for very, very minimal, minimal effort. I am not going to complain about that. I'm not a greedy savage. I am uh, very, very grateful. So just remember that. Don't let social media brainwash you into thinking you need to make thousands every day or else you're not doing it right or you're, uh, you know, it's not worth your time. Uh, I guess I can't tell you what your time's worth. But for me, like I said, when I combine the fact that I have other streams of income and then I throw 150 bucks in my pocket within, uh, you know, basically an hour, if that, I am, uh, 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 for me, I'll take that. So that's all I have. If you enjoy these live trade videos, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Take care, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.